Welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis with Vision 33. Uh, today's Wednesday Web Chat, we'll try to take a look again at another in the series called the HANA Difference. And uh, today we'll be taking a look at advanced available to promise basics. I haven't gone too deep, uh, there, we'll, so we'll introduce it today. And from there, we hope you'll be able to investigate further. Um, I've been looking for some additional documentation. There is some online help available. Uh, but uh, I think there's an actual uh, SAP document about available to promise, and uh, I'll try to make it available to everyone when I get the opportunity. And so today we'll take a look at advanced available to promise basics so that you can see what uh, HANA offers um, that is not present in the Microsoft SQL database. Uh, for those of you that are running that, it's, uh, some of these items are really good motivation to move from SQL to HANA, which is what SAP wants you to do, of course. And so today we'll be taking a look at that. I'll switch over here to our demo system. And uh, some of the first things you have to do is to enable uh, Available to Promise, Advanced ATP, in, um, in SAP Business One. So just to give you some quick basics there about what's going on uh, is once I have the menu system up, I have to go to administration. And this is where I have to always remember where I go to do things. And I think it's uh, administration system initialization general settings. And that is not where I need to go. Let me close that. Um, let's go to company details. Let's see if this is where I need to be. Basic initialization, I believe that's where I'm supposed to be. Yes, here it is. So you'll see a switch down here. Uh, enable advanced GL processing. There's another switch somewhere in this list. I don't know why I couldn't see that before, but here's where I want to go is document settings. There we are. And in the document settings, so it's system initialization, document settings. And once I'm in 